HUL, right, uh, reported a weak set of numbers. Their EBITDA was flat despite a 400 basis points gross margin improvement. Mangalam actually quizzed the management of HUL at the Q3 earnings call, began by asking them about when they expect a significant recovery in the volume growth. The commentary was a bit sober as well. Listen in to what they had to say. So if you look at, if you disaggregate our uh, growth, uh, and as you said, uh, it has been in low single digits in the last couple of quarters. Uh, the fact is that we're coming off a inflation deflation cycle where clearly the response to the investments on price is taking uh, some time to come on account of uh, a few macro factors, which we have to also accept as a part of the context we operate the FMCG business in. For instance, the uh, slow recovery in rural, although of course urban continues to be resilient. So we operate within a certain context where we are continuing to be competitive. And as Ritesh mentioned, 60% or thereabouts of our business is uh, still winning market shares. And we are coming off on a very, very high base of market shares of the last two years. So we remain strong, competitive, even though the top line numbers are, are, are what they are optically. As far as volumes are concerned, if you disaggregate our volumes by our three businesses, our home care, our beauty and personal care businesses are growing in single digits, in mid-single digits, which is a second quarter in a row. So where we have taken prices down, we already start to see a price response uh, to volume, and volumes are coming back, including, of course, being helped by the slow recovery in rural. On food uh, and refreshment is where we have negative volumes. That brings down the total number. And that is largely because a lot of that, uh, the categories we operate in food and refreshments, are uh, still have faced high levels of inflation. Uh, to name an example, coffee, even on HFD, and in tea, we're seeing some downgradation. So uh, it's still coming on the back of uh, high prices, although the increase in prices is beginning to sort of narrow and stop. So we do expect over a period of time this will uh, this will lap. But as we speak, food and refreshment is where we do see the volume drag, although uh, the heartening fact is that we remain very competitive on value share uh, across all our big categories in food and refreshment. So uh, that is something that gives me quite a lot of confidence that what we're doing fundamentally are absolutely the right things. We are investing behind our brands. Our brand power is strong. Advertising, which had come down over the last uh, several years of high inflation, uh, is back. We had a very competitive levels of investment. Uh, brands have good product quality. Uh, and I feel that our distribution and operational grip is tight. So we are going to come out stronger from this inflation efficient cycle. And all we're doing around build, building our business uh, for the future, such as investing in beauty care, uh, capability, and all of that is going to basically pay off in good stead. So I feel quite optimistic uh, that all of these investments are in the right places, and we will, uh, we will uh, uh, see, as macros tend to improve, uh, some turn in volumes as well. Uh, I would ask Ritesh then now to uh, complete the question on the margin and how exactly the shape of investments yeah. uh, that we're currently sure. choosing. Sure. And Mukim, just to uh, further build on the few more elements. Um, so as Rohit mentioned, the home and personal care and beauty and entire business put together has grown mid single digit. Remember, this is three fourth of our business. So already 75% of the business has registered uh, mid single digit volume growth. And it's the uh, foods and refreshment, which is the quarter of the business, which Rohit explained, given commodity inflation, given a very different commodity cycle, uh, which is where we've seen low single digit volume decline. and. Uh, also, I want to call out the premium categories. If you look at uh, beauty premium categories, if I look at uh, the plus range within Horlicks, again, the premium part of HFD. Uh, if I look at newer formats, uh, mask, serum. If I look at uh, innovations like mayonnaise, peanut butter. So these are these parts of the businesses are already showing double digit volume momentum. So there are parts of the business which have shown momentum very different. And of course, certain parts of the business are depend upon the realities of inflation, which is a different cycle compared to the rest of the business.